Hey guys, this is Bazan from Fast Productions and Secret Bros. And welcome back to another how to video. This is something that I just thought I would do for you guys. Anyway, so yeah, as you can see, there's um, a hexagonal prism in front of you, but not just any hexagonal prism, a hexagonal prism made out of beads. And uh, yeah, the magnetic beads. So basically, um, I have about 220 beads, and I thought um, I would make um, this shape for you guys and show you how to do it. Well, that is, if, if you have uh, about 220 beads, there are any beads at all. But anyway, yeah, if you don't have the beads, then, then this will just be a fun video for you to watch anyway. So, this is how to do it. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to make a whole line of beads, just like I'm doing here. Now remember, hexagonal prisms are all about cross sections. They have different hexagons that make up the hexagonal prism. So, we're going to add different cross sections and hopefully that will make up hexagonal prism. So, as you can see, I have this line of beads here. Make sure that it's preferably long. So, uh, yeah, we're going to make the first cross section and keep adding to it. So, what you want to do is you want to select the first six beads in your string. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and select this, and then curve it so that it makes a hexagon just like this. Um, of course, it's magnetic, so it will stick. Now, with this line of beads, connect your hexagon uh, to it, and then and make sure that it doesn't go above or below it. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that it curves around just like this. See how I'm doing? Curves around. And by the way, you can have a different uh, size cross sections, and uh, yeah, so you can have different length hexagonal prisms depending on the size of the cross section. So I'll stop here to show you. This is the smaller size you can have of a cross section. So if you keep adding to this, you can have a really long hexagonal prism. So we're just going to do the average size, which is about this big. So you've got to keep folding it round until I tell you to start. If you don't have enough beads in your string, then just keep, then just add some more. So you've got here, then you keep folding around, and that should be it. So, so detach this string of beads here, and here you have this first cross section. So basically what I've done is I've got the um, the hexagon in the middle and just folded beads around it to make this cross section. Now you put this to the side, now you get a new line of beads. So this is our new line of beads, make sure it's big again. And I'm just going to do one more example because is it, there is another step. So yeah, once again, you select uh, the first six beads in your string. If you've got it, you fold it so that it makes a hexagon just like this. Then you connect it to the string and start folding the string around. I actually hold it up to you so you can see it like this. So make, once again, make sure that the string doesn't go over or below it. You need to make sure that it's even. So yeah, uh, we're going to do the average size cross section. Out, see, it went above it. So you just keep folding until hopefully it will get to the right size. And yeah, that should be it. So now you've got your second cross section, you put the beads, string the beads to the side, now you get the first one, and this is how you attach it, you get this, and you get the second one, now you see, oh see, okay, so you need to match positive to negative, and negative to positive, so, uh, just like this, this won't work, okay, it won't connect evenly, just because, yeah, it doesn't match up properly, so you have to turn it around, and then connect it, and then make sure that it folds, matching up each bead, and you go, you have, well, you have two cross sections that make up a relatively small hexagonal prism. So I'm, gonna, I'm now going to speed up the video because you know how to do all this. So uh, yeah, I'm going to keep adding until I've made my hexagonal prism. So now we are down to um, our final cross section that we need to add to complete the hexagonal prism. So yeah, uh, here's our last string. Now let's just do the video again. So as you can see, guys, this is well. It's not actually complete because as you can see here, I've unfortunately lost the bead. I don't know how, but yeah. Uh, let's just imagine that you have the bead here, and yeah, that's how you complete the hexagonal prism made out of beads. And uh, yeah, I guess that'll be the end of this tutorial slash guide. So this is your um. Exactly, I'm present looking very pretty, and uh, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this guide and found it useful. Um, if you did enjoy it, then please leave a like and consider subscribing for more how to's just like this and uh, other videos on my content like gaming, real life vlogs, and other stuff. So, yeah, stay tuned for more how to's because there will be more in the future. So, yeah, once again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, see ya!